Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to reset Windows 11 using the built-in utility in case you don't have a bootable disk, and also you can reset a couple of different ways, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you want to go to your start button and look for settings. Scroll down through the list and you should find recovery to reset or advance startup. Click into there and you have a couple of options. They want to encourage you to try and fix the problems without resetting your PC. And we have other videos if they're not already existing on this. Check out my computer repair playlist and you'll be able to find a lot of videos there. And if there's a video you can't find, just post a comment and I can direct you to the video or make a video and give you a shout out for the suggestion. So the advanced startup is also something else that you can try before resetting and there should be a video on that as well. Here is where you want to go to reset. So we'll choose reset the PC and you have a couple of options here. The first one is to reset by keeping your files, which you most likely want to do. The other one is to remove everything. So if you're going to be donating the computer or you just want to make sure everything's gone, you want to completely start over, then you can choose to remove everything. If you go into keep my files, You have the option here now to choose to cloud download so it'll download the latest version of Windows 11 to reinstall it or just the local one which will use what you already have and just reinstall that. So if you choose the local install you have a few options that you can choose right here by clicking on change settings. So if we click on that, it gives you the option again to download Windows. So you could click on here to toggle yes to download the latest one or just leave it on no, which is the default and then just hit confirm. Then it's going to confirm to reinstall Windows. It tells you exactly what it's going to be doing and then you can hit next. This confirms now before resetting what it's going to do, including keeping your personal files, but it's going to reinstall the windows using what's currently on this computer and removing all the apps and programs. So any programs that you added after windows was done, you're going to have to add those back in again. And it does say that it's going to take a while and your PC will restart. Let's cancel this instead of resetting and have a look at the other option. So if you go to reset the PC, if we were to choose to remove everything, again you can choose the cloud download or the local install and go to change settings. You have a couple other options here. In addition to downloading the windows, you also have the option to clean the data, which on no it just removes your files it's quicker but less secure if we choose yes it cleans the drive and will take a lot longer because it's going to be wiping it and shredding the data so if you're going to be donating this computer to somebody else then it's going to be a lot harder for someone to kind of recover your data so you can turn that on or leave it off and then hit confirm go next once it's done preparing, it again confirms exactly what it's going to be doing before it does the reset. And that's basically it for resetting the PC using the built-in utility. If that doesn't work and your computer just won't boot into Windows to be able to use that, then you're going to have to use a bootable CD, DVD or USB drive and you can download that ISO image from their website using another computer that is working. And I've got other videos on that as well as I mentioned previously. So that's it for this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.